Yo, today we're talking about this thing I was about to do a first for, 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 for first impression of this thing uh, yesterday, but I'm so uh, impatient that I open it after uh, uh, taking a shower after I had a workout and uh, yeah, that's me. So that's the box. Nice box, look good. Nothing talk about bottle <sighs> do I ever really talk about the presentation who gives a uh, uh. um yeah but it looks okay like okay uh when I open the box of this thing so you got a little opening uh, in here I don't like but it hasn't leaked yeah when i opened this just this box i could smell it straight away a strong healthy powerful rose smell and i was a little bit worried because it was kind of that rose you know you go into that rose territory like bam rose like grandma rose like you know and if i smell it from the uh, sprayer uh, or atomizer as you want to say I get that bow that grandma that that, that woman rose so I was like ah, fuck uh, it's cheap so I was like I want to give it a try I had so many people talking good stuff about this and like a good rose uh, oud combination they talk about the vanilla you got caramel uh, oud rose and people say the first thing that's gonna hit you is uh, the caramel and vanilla and I didn't get no caramel or no vanilla in the opening I got some sweetness but I got that wow rose and it's strong you get that like Compared to like like a lot of rose fragrances, I don't have any rose uh, my rose oud fragrances in my collection now. That's why I wanted to get this because I didn't want to pay the big big bucks, and I heard this was good for price. I always also looked at some Latafa uh, on eBay, but these Indian sellers like one and a half month to get it in the mail. And a lot of them have bad reviews. So I didn't want to, and if I buy it from the Amazon, a lot of uh, they want the shipping, and then I have to pay all this uh, tax and blah blah blah. So I bought it from uh, Fragrance X. I got it for yeah, three hundred Norwegian, like thirty five dollars, whatever, and or thirty forty dollars. I don't know. Uh, I don't even remember. 300 something a week. Uh, and I was scared. Ah, I done a bad, bad buy, I thought. I spread it on. I don't know if I like this. It's like an uppercut. Bah! With the rose. Starting to get the oud. Like in, I smell a lot of oud. Amouage, MFK. I don't but I always smell like Armani, Prevail line, Dior line. Uh, I smell some uh, Arabian oods. I smell, and it, this reminds me of that. I know it's supposed to smell like uh, what's it called, uh, Lancome oud bouquet. Uh, I haven't smelled that once. So I can tell. But I smelled the, all the ouds from MFK, and it gives me that kind of oud vibe. <coughs> and this is this costs uh, thirty uh, thirty dollars or with shipping or something, uh, and the MFK ones cost three hundred dollars. I don't know how much this, but I uh, I had a lot of samples of the MFK, like two mils and five mils. And they are really good, but I never cared to have a bottle because 
if I was supposed to buy a, a, a that expensive perfume, I would always not go for the old rose combination. I would go for something gourmand or like a high quality gourmand or like something different. Uh, I never spend high money on a fresh fragrance because I don't. It, it, you can get the fresh fragrances for cheap or not cheap. Uh, like a hundred dollars and. I would never buy more than uh, a fresh fragrance for more than $100. That easily does the same job as a uh, $250 fresh fragrance. Like, it's silly to me. But anyways, spread it on. <sighs> they like it. They like it. Uh, uh, you know, he's sitting there almost convincing himself. Maybe, uh, 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 but it was just rose screaming so loud, so pungent sweet like it you got this incense in the background like but it's so feminine and i was sitting there like but then 10 minutes in 10 15 minutes in you start to get the sweetness you start to get the oud incense and that rose takes a little bit of a back seat not a back seat like it's still like up in the front like in the passenger seat like hey what's going on like you know what i mean like but it's, it's not like lying on the hood of the car, you know what I mean? So it's just back there and it's so much better. So much more tolerable. Uh, I don't, and it lasted so long, like till a couple of hours ago after I took a shower, after a workout. Uh, um, I could still smell it after the workout, but in the shower, now it's gone. And that's like eight. Last night I put it on like eight o'clock ish after I got it half seven thirty and to this day after I work a couple of hours ago like sixteen hours later I could smell it and after I worked out I could smell it from here like sitting here so it's strong but I don't after uh, when I went to bed it was closer to my skin but when I woke up to get something to drink I went so dry like three o'clock that night then I could smell it when I woke up so it's strong it's strong I can't tell you about the longevity but you know what I mean like I haven't been outside of the house in the wind and in the rain as it is outside but it gets much much better in the dry down you get that like you know some woods uh, you get that like, almost uh, Chlorine. I know it sounds bad, but it's not bad. You get that chlorine, like chlorine feel, like scratchy feel. You get that from this. Uh, and the big question is, I'm not gonna keep you up all night. Is this worth it? Can you compare it to the other big, big ouds uh, I smelt and oud satin mood and the regular oud and oud silk mood? And uh, yes, is the quality the same? No, uh, in the beginning it gets that, uh, it's not that uh, fluidly with the oud as the other ones I talk about. I even smelt the Gucci oud intense uh, and the quality is just the same in this. This, this is, not, and that one is way, way more expensive. And the oud, but when, after uh, 30 minutes, an hour, when it comes down and I would, I, I haven't compared like side by side now, but in my memory, this is not uh, anything like uh, lower quality. Yeah, it's a little, maybe a little rough around the edges, but I think in the air, but then again, this is so powerful. And these other fruits I talked about is so powerful that if you sit and smell them like this here watching TV, you're going to get nauseous you're gonna get like even i sp spray on like a 400 hundred dollar perfume sample and i sit here watching tv with my girl and just watching and smelling you will get clawing you will get because you're not doing the perfume justice by just sitting there smelling it. you need to be outside you need to be in the air and being around people and stuff and see how it works and most perfumes don't 
get like um, uh, how can I say most perfumes are made to smell good and some perfumes are always, always like novelty perfumes but this is made to smell good and would I buy one of these oud uh, oud rose sweet you get the vanilla, you get the incense, you get this oody feel that I get from these other fragrances. And I won't, I won't sit here and bullshit you like say, uh, these others don't smell a little, little bit better uh, on the smoother side. But I get the same feeling from this. It gives me the same, you can see other reviews of this as well. You get, if you're on a budget, you get this, I can honestly say I get the same feeling of this as one of the more expensive ones. You only have to like um, appreciate it like this. Don't sit like this. Who sits like that anyway? In the air, I, w I would think this cost maybe $150 to $200 easily. 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 Like could be in one of the designer's private line like Dior's or uh, something, Armani or Tom Ford or anything like that. It could easily be in one of those higher end designer line. And people will, oh, this is the next best thing like since sliced bread or you know what I mean? So yeah, I, I probably rent that. Uh, would I buy it again? Definitely. Will I, um, what can I say? Will I, uh, tested over this so uh, this is not like i'm going to work uh, this is not like oh uh, i'm just hanging out with the boys uh, play as this you need to be in the mood but it's a really good fragrance if you want to be up class you don't put uh, on some sweatshirts and a white t-shirt and uh, wear this fragrance then you will look people will but if you come with nice clothes, nice shirt, a leather jacket, or just, uh, you need to be cleaned up to wear this kind of stuff. You don't need to be like a stiff uh, suit or anything, or a shirt, crisp shirt, and but you need to dress well, is what I need to say. A pique or jeans, you need to like dress the part, or you look like a fool. Peace!